Hundreds of passengers with booked flights to Tobago, some confirmed, some on standby, were forced to make the Piaco International Airport their vacation spot over the last two days as mechanical difficulties on board the Caribbean Airlines Limited aircraft led to a delay of several flights. Minority leader of the Tobago House of Assembly, Watson Duke, who was among the disgruntled passengers, says he's not buying the airline's excuse of aircraft constraints. He says as a state-owned airline, Cal must remember it has a duty to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Janine Brown has more. Frustration and anger from passengers with tickets to Tobago via Caribbean Airlines as delays from the airline left hundreds of passengers stranded at the Piaco International Airport. Minority leader of the Tobago House of Assembly, Watson Duke, who said he had in his possession a confirmed ticket for Tobago, described the situation as unacceptable. He's wondering what was the real purpose for the delay. But Caribbean Airlines owes Tobago and Trinidad a duty to provide flight on a regular schedule. These flights should be running, whether they're filled or empty, they should have flights running and they have their schedule. So whether it's one person or two or six person running a flight, they should not cancel any flight because of economic reasons. He added the treatment of passengers by staff made matters even worse. And it has been somewhat type of uncivilized treatment. They have 200 passengers there. There's no waiting room, and I tell them to stand up and wait. No, 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 no bottle of water. This passenger said she was booked to return home for the holidays. However, that hasn't happened. We are not getting any good feedback, like in terms of what is really happening. We are just being told to come back on a timely basis. Meanwhile, Caribbean Airlines Limited says it is working to minimize inconvenience to its passengers. In its latest press release in light of the airport commotion, Cal explained that due to aircraft constraints, the airline has consolidated and rescheduled some of its services on the domestic air bridge for today. It clarified that passengers with confirmed tickets are fully accommodated. The airline said its 737 fleet is being used to support its domestic operations as required, and the ATR fleet is expected to be fully restored and in service within 24 hours. Janine Brown, C News.